Welcome to this episode of Evernote, Learning the Basics. In this episode, we're going to be talking about syncing your notes. Coming up next. Okay, so here we are in Evernote. And I'm going to be showing you how to sync your notes. Of course, this is going to be a very short episode because, to be honest with you, Evernote does all the heavy lifting in this department. But I am going to show you just some things about syncing in case you don't know what syncing is or in case you just need to know some of the little basics about it. But Evernote is a cloud-based note-taking app. So everything you do in Evernote, whether or not you're using the desktop version or whether or not you're using the mobile device version, or even the web version as far as that goes, no matter which version you are using, Evernote will sync to all of your devices the notes that you take and put inside Evernote. And this is very helpful if you are away from home or you need access to that information elsewhere. You can access it on your mobile device, through the web, or what have you. So when you create a note, and let's go ahead and create a note here. You see the little blue indicator right there that was there and now it's gone? Well, that's because Evernote is automatically on my Mac here because I use Evernote for Mac. Now, Evernote for Windows, I think, works a little bit different. But whenever I create a note on my Mac, it automatically syncs. So I don't really ever have to actually hit the sync button that's up here. But once I create a note, let's say creating a note. This is about syncing. Now, did you see the little blue thing up here? It just started spinning, so it synced that note as I was typing it. Now, in the PC version, I think it operates a little bit different, and you actually have to hit the sync button or what have you. But you need to make sure that your arrow that's on here goes away and that your notes are syncing to the web. This is how you're going to be able to access them because if you if your internet's down or what have you and you create a note and your internet's down or you're not going to be able to get that note on another device somewhere else until you sync it. Now, if you go up here to file, you also have a sync thing here you can click on. It's just a lot easier. Just click this button right here to sync your note. Um, but you could do that there and you can also hit the uh, keyboard shortcut there if you wanted to sync your note as well. Now also under preferences here, under sync here you have general, you have sync, clipper, which we'll go over later in other episodes. But you can also see that um, you have some options here for syncing as well. Uh, sync shortcuts, warn me of five quits while syncing. Um, you have, like I say, clipper shortcuts, uh, keyboard shortcuts, formatting, context, reminders, and scanning here in this preference dialog. So that is basically syncing. I know, like I say, this is a short episode, but I wanted to just kind of go through uh, the importance of syncing and why you should sync your notes. Now, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you wanna see more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel. And so without further ado, I wanna wish you a wonderful day and let's be more productive.